drugs revered. In Kathmandu, Nepal, pilgrims gather for one of their holiest events. They come to praise the Hindu god Shiva with prayer, meditation, and marijuana. In most societies, marijuana is a forbidden narcotic. But here at the Shivaratri festival, it's a sacred gift from the gods. Holy capital of Kathmandu, huge crowds pack the city streets. They flock towards the 1,500-year-old temple of Pashupadinath, the country's holiest shrine to the god Shiva. It's said that Shiva, one of three Hindu deities, once used this location as a hideout during a dispute with the other two gods. Today, Pashupadinath plays host to Shiva's most sacred festival, Shivaratri. Over 100,000 Hindus have come here from across Nepal and India to celebrate the occasion. This religious band has traveled from Delhi to praise Shiva by singing devotional songs. And smoking marijuana. This is our diet, Shiva's blessing for us. It's always available. Wherever we stay, it comes to us automatically. The way normal people need food, we need this to concentrate on Shiva. In many religions, it would be taboo for a god to associate with drugs. But Shiva was known as the Lord of Bong. Bang is a local word for marijuana. Shiva is often portrayed with half-closed eyes. Most say this is a sign of meditation, but some claim it's an effect of marijuana. And according to some interpretations of sacred Hindu texts, Shiva used to eat the leaves of the marijuana plant. Today, these followers honor him by smoking them. As referred to in mythology, Shiva consumed marijuana as a blessing. Therefore, a true follower of Shiva consumes it too. At Shiva Ratri, such followers are everywhere. Marijuana is illegal in Nepal, and possession can result in up to a month in prison. But on this day, each year, the ban is lifted for religious reasons. The Hindu community even provides free marijuana for the holy men, or sadhus, who flock to the festival. Sadhus don't work and are supported by donations from other Hindus. At Shivaratri, that means food, beverages, and an endless supply of marijuana. During Shivaratri, it is countless. It just goes on and on, including food. Food comes, and tea comes, and it's served to us in thousands. And the pipes we smoke continue to come as well. that in return for donations, the sadhus pay for the sins of the community. They do so by living ascetic and austere lifestyles. Men become sadhus to devote themselves to achieving moksha, or liberation, through meditation and worship of God. For Radhi Baba, the catalyst for becoming a sadhu, was the death of his parents when he was a boy. 
It's been 30 years. After the demise of my parents, I started the search for God. I received my mantra from my guru and started praying. In the pursuit of moksha, sadhus like Radhi Baba reject material possessions. They cover their nakedness with a loincloth and holy ash and decorate their bodies with sandalwood dye. They also practice yoga and many observe vows of silence or adopt painful body positions as acts of penance. Some even move around the earth on their bellies. They believe these practices will erase their sins and those of the community. And as part of their devotional ritual, the sadhus also smoke marijuana. After you smoke this, problematic feelings like lust, greed, and anger all vanish. You become cool and calm. You only concentrate on God. Radhi Baba sees smoking marijuana as a religious duty, not a recreational pleasure. But why does he believe that getting high enables him to get closer to God? The answer may lie in the 60 or so psychoactive chemicals each marijuana plant contains. When smoked, these chemicals combine to produce an altered mental state. They change your judgment. They make you do things, decide things, see things in ways that you might not ordinarily see them. Um, and so it might change the way you make decisions or judgments about things. By smoking marijuana, the user enters an alternative state of consciousness, an experience of reality which some, like the sadhus, interpret as evidence of a connection with the divine. Marijuana is used in rituals for Shiva in order to attain higher levels of consciousness, visions, loss of individuality, identity with God, a whole range of psychic and spiritual phenomena that are produced by these drugs are the goals that uh, are behind allowing the drugs and even encouraging the use of the drugs. Some might consider smoking marijuana a sin, but Radhi Baba claims it helps him avoid a sinful lifestyle. After smoking, you realize the entire world is running after lust, anger, greed, and love. This keeps you away from those things. This protects you from lies. This will make you speak the truth. <laughs> For sadhus like Radhi Baba, smoking marijuana is a religious ritual. But regular use can have serious health implications. Studies show that it affects the memory and can create long-term psychological illness. Nepali doctors studying the sadhus have found marijuana smoke also leads to respiratory diseases. What I have found in the initial phase, probably five, ten years, they don't have problems. But after a decade or so, they used to see me with the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. They have now recurrent chest infections. And on the whole, their health is not at par with the normal people. Authorities in most countries have banned marijuana because of its mental and physical dangers. In the United States, marijuana wasn't illegal until 1937. Today, it's the nation's most widely used illicit drug. There have been nearly 15 million marijuana arrests in the U.S. since 1970. In 2006 alone, 800,000 people were arrested for marijuana offenses. That's more than the total number of arrests for all violent crimes. Historically in Nepal, marijuana was only used for religious purposes. However, that's changing, and recreational use is on the rise among Nepali youth. 
Rani Baba is worried this social trend will affect the sadhus. It's a harassment for us sadhus. Police warn us not to give it to youngsters, but they come and ask us for it. If we don't give it to them, they abuse us. Like most societies, Nepal has its own drug problems. In recent years, it has become a hub in the illegal heroin trade. Despite being illegal in Nepal, on Shivaratri, marijuana is smoked by people from all walks of life. As the day goes on, Radhi Baba and other sadhus consume a seemingly endless supply. They'll continue to smoke long into the night to keep Shiva company in the temple of Pashupatinath. <laughs> 